Uniting America with truth, justice, and independence. This is the Norman Goldman Show. Bank of America. You recall Bank of America was one of the banks that stole all the money, did all those funny mortgages, tanked the economy, totally destroyed the economy, then got bailed out by the federal government and us taxpayers. They used their little private club called the Federal Reserve to bail themselves out to the tune of trillions of dollars. We kicked in another $750 billion on top of that. Nobody was ever arrested. Nobody was ever prosecuted. No. They just continued on. But then, to make matters worse, the government said, well, you know, let's work with these banks to try and keep people in their homes while the while the banks that had already tanked the economy, stolen all the money, then got bailed out, and then weren't held accountable for their criminality. The, the banks then said, sure, we'll work with people. Well, there is a lawsuit. There is a lawsuit in federal court in Massachusetts by a bunch of former Bank of America employees saying that what Bank of America was doing was lying to the customers, saying, sure, we'll refinance your mortgage. Send us documents. The people would send in all the documents and B of A told their employees sit on the documents for at least 30 days. And if they didn't, they got fired. These are employees who have filed sworn statements under oath in court, and I have read them, and I hold one representative, one in my hand, if you're watching on the Norm Cam, through normangoldman.com. There is a woman, her name is Simone Gordon. Simone Gordon and, and several of her former employee cohorts at Bank of America have filed sworn statements. But she details, Simone Gordon details her experience working at Bank of America in a multi-page, very detailed statement where she says that she was ordered to sit on the documents that the homeowners submitted, even if they were proper, to sit on them until they were at least 30 days old and then declare them stale, then throw them away and then tell the homeowner, oh, you have to do it all over again. And the homeowners were given trial periods where they had to make payments of a certain amount and Bank of America denied that they'd gotten the payments. And... It's not just Simone Gordon, but several other people filed similar affidavits. I've read them. They're on the Internet. I've read them. And let me just read you one line from Simone Gordon's declaration. Quote, we were told to lie to customers and claim that Bank of America had not received documents it had requested and that it had not received trial payments when, in fact, it had. We were told that admitting that the bank received documents would open a can of worms since the bank was required to underwrite the loan modification within 30 days of receiving those documents and it did not have sufficient underwriting staff to complete the underwriting in that time. The bank was trying to stop people from getting into this government, uh, this government push program called HAMP because Bank of America had their own in-house refinance programs that made the bank more money. So they were told to try and push the customers away from the government-sponsored program and into the B of A in-house refinance program at a higher interest rate. And they were persistently told, and by the way, in these declarations, they name names. They name names of people at B of A who told them to lie, who told them to throw away documents. They would do these purges. They'd call them blitzes. I mean, I read these documents. They call them blitzes. Every couple of weeks, they would come in and they would throw out massive amounts of documents. Just to say, see, we didn't get the documents when they knew that the people had submitted all the documents. Now, at the time, we knew that the people were submitting documents. They were complaining. This was in the news. People saying, the the banks are giving me the runaround. They're telling me to submit things two and three and four times when I've already done it. Now we have documentation from inside the belly of the beast that the bank was committing fraud. Will anybody go to jail? Will they? No, I don't think so, because the banks are immune. There were a couple of things happening at the root of it. Number one, Bank of America did not hire enough people to process all the paperwork. That's number one. Number two, Bank of America did not did not want to participate in the government program to get people refinanced into an affordable payment because the government program was too good a deal for the consumers. So Bank of America, and by the way, the government never audited B of A, and now that the government knows about these whistleblowers saying what B of A was doing to intentionally not comply. My question is, who's going to jail? That's my question as well. My question is, Who's going to jail? B of A didn't hire enough people. They intentionally destroyed paperwork. They told people they hadn't received their payments when they had. They fired customers. They fired employees who treated the customers right. And they gave bonuses to those employees who cheated the customers the way B of A wanted them cheated. The, the B of A was giving out gift cards to Target and Walmart and stuff to people who cheated the customers on behalf of B and A. B of A. My question is. 
who's going to jail. Uniting America with truth, justice, and independence. This is the Norman Goldman Show.